Hi everyone, today I will show you how to migrate from Heroku Postgres to Neon. And I will use this Heroku PG pool command that I have here um, that has three main parameters. So the first one is app, which is the Heroku uh, app name. The second one is Heroku PG database, which is the Heroku Postgres database name. And finally, the Neon connection string. As you can see here on my browser, uh, I am logged into my Heroku account and I am on the uh, data dashboard as you can see i have a database uh, under the immense beach 98841 app so i'm going to click right here and I, here i can see different information about my database what i can see here that is that i have two tables and since 622 rows which is not a lot but should be enough for this demo i'm going to click here in the settings tab and view my credentials and i could use this uh, Heroku CLI command here to connect to the database just to see what's inside. So let's do that. And here I can use the DT command to see the different tables that I have and I have an album and artist tables. Okay, so let me quit this. So here I have almost all the information that I need. So I have the app name and I have the um, Postgres database name. So let me write, I'll write those. So let me write the command again, Roku PG pool dash dash app. And I need this name right here. So it means beach 98841. I also need this Postgres database name right here. And the final thing that I need would be the neon connection string. For that, I'm going to go to the Neon console. Um, I'm going to create a project that I'm going to call Roku PG. All right, let me create a project. And here I have a different information to connect to my database. Um, but what I'm interested in here is to get the connection string with the password that I'm going to find on the dashboard. So let me press OK. Here's the connection string I'm interested in. So let me copy that and paste it in my terminal. Uh, for my command to be complete. Let me hit press enter. Uh, this takes a minute, so let me get back as soon as it's finished. Okay, now it's done. I'll go now to the tables tab and I can see that I have uh, my artist and album tables that are already there populated with some data. So yeah, so this is it for this video. Um, we've just seen how we can migrate data from Heroku to Neon. Uh, with a simple command so uh, please let me know in the comments below if this was useful and uh, the kind of content that you'd like to see us uh, make in the future and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you